The third performance evaluation cup of Chapter 3, Season 3 featured our first look at a low mobility meta for the first time in over two years. With the removal of rifts, IO cars, shockwave grenades, and launch pads, players now left to adapt the rotations with the newly added grapple glove having 10 spawn locations around the island and the new rideable wildlife including boars sure to wild up those rotates in game one our veteran team shine with agers and kanada picking up the victory while tagging five eliminations alongside it but in the chaos of the end game an aggressive cam and narwhal on high ground were putting on a carnage that would fall short in second place but not without picking up 10 eliminations in dominant fashion, giving them a one-point lead over Aegis and Kanata heading in to Game 2. However, in Game 2 came the redemption of Cam and Narwhal's Victory Royale pulling ahead of everyone, as the teams of the likes of Mason and Nut, Chimp and Ethan go down early in the moving zones after being hot on the tails. After Game 1, they start to see the closeness slip. After taking the high ground in the final moments, Cam and Narwhal just sat back and let the low ground lions fight it out, as Agers and Kanata as well as Trashy and Rise put up a valiant effort, finishing in both third and fourth place, leaving a pull away lead for Cam and Narwhal. But don't think too fast, because Game 3's leaders get put on a screeching stop as Agers and Kanata go down in 23rd place with zero eliminations, then Cam and Narwhal following suit right behind going down in 21st with a valiant three eliminations. With the door wide open, new teams see the light and start sprinting for it as Slax and Clarity go on an elimination frenzy going up to 66 points, tying them with Agers and Kanata. In the meanwhile, Chimp and Ethan Keep on mantling up the leaderboard, putting them in fourth place overall. And speaking of mantling, Trashy and Rise mantle up to the height and hold on to it convincingly, sliding them in to first place overall by four points ahead of Cam and Narwhal after taking home a seven elimination victory royale. But the final game is all it comes down to. The chips are in, but the tables start folding instantly as Rise and Trashy fall in 20th place, finishing at a 88-point line, leaving first place open for the taking. Once the rest of the lobby realizes this, the end game turns into a different beast. In an insane battle for height, Nut and Mason manage to hold on, but only before the big bad Cam and Narwhal come up for the taking. However, Mason and Nut's seven elimination third place was enough to slide them in to the top three at 98 points. But the final moments, what it all comes down to, the 2v2 in the battle for first place, Cam and Narwhal versus Agers and Kanata. While having the height advantage, Cam and Narwhal couldn't last it out as the fighting grit from Agers and Kanata came out on top. But unfortunately, the five elimination VR wasn't enough to beat out the overall dominance from Cam and Narwhal at a grand total of 108 points. These tournaments are just the beginning of an amazing season up ahead, and I can't wait to watch which teams will shine like the brightest of stars. As the players begin to relearn the works of rotation this season, we're already seeing what duos are gearing up to take the Chapter 3, Season 3, Acts of Champions. Until next time, Fortnite fam, we'll see you on the Battle Bus. Beep beep.